bow line. For engine room, ahead one quarter. Engine room, ahead three quarters. Ledsman, sound off. Bottom off. Off one. That's the Lesman calling out the depth mark so we can avoid running aground. Mark Twain! Mark Twain is not just the name of a riverboat or a great American author. It also means the water here is two fathoms deep. That means it's safe enough for us to proceed on our steam-powered journey along the rivers of America. On our trip, We'll visit the magnificent Columbia of the Great Northwest, the graceful Missouri of the windswept plains, and the rugged Rio Grande along the border of Texas and Mexico. I'll be sure to point out interesting sights along the way, and even tell you about a legend or two. We begin our trip right here on the mighty Mississippi, heading south and ending up down in New Orleans.
As we head into the remote areas of the rivers of America, you're in for a real treat. I've been navigating these parts for years now, but I never get tired of taking in the breathtaking beauty of the Columbia River. Majestic trees, the stunning rock formations, the cascading waterfalls, the moose, deer, and elk along the banks. It's all so magnificent and so peaceful. Wow. 
ride in the wilderness. Of course, that may be just another legend of the river. Just ahead is the frontier land where our journey ends. On behalf of our entire crew, I'd like to thank you for booking passage on the Mark Twain Riverboat. At this time, we ask that you prepare to disembark. If you're on one of the upper decks, please make your way down to the first deck. The stairway to the right side and the back of the boat may offer the quickest and easiest route. We hope you enjoyed your voyage with us and that you will visit us again real soon. Go ashore! And then I have a